got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Karma don't attend, didn't attend Boogie birthday. So big Boogie. Because his ex was there. Let's get it. He kicked off his birthday weekend with a dinner last night in Atlanta. Now, people were a bit confused on why his girlfriend, Carmen, wasn't in attendance. Now, a few days ago, his ex-girlfriend reposted a post that Boogie posted on Facebook <clears throat> that stated, PSA, if I don't see you for my birthday events, it's nothing with you on my daddy grave. Keep the sad stories and keep them excuses because I. That is me <clears throat> all day long. Don't have excuses when I handle them favors that people okay. ask me or what I do for people. Okay. I'm not pointing no fingers at nobody. I'm talking Hello? about everybody. Soon as I don't see you, whatever bond we had is dead. So please don't try to text me, talk to me, or nothing. I said what I said. Now he posted up his birthday photos this morning and Carmen did leave a comment underneath the post that stated, shine on them all. And people were asking underneath her post, Carmen, were you there? And why weren't you there? Now someone responds with, nope, Trey is with him. Trey was with him last night. Carmen only see him when he go out of town. So now I didn't see any footage of his ex living girlfriend being there, but people are stating she was there and she did repost that post that stated he's not messing with you if you didn't attend his birthday events. So now this was just the kickoff event. So maybe we'll see Carmen over the weekend or maybe she's at home sick and can't attend but let's move on to this next topic with Corey. now he made a special post to one of his female friends on twitter he states june 20 Annie, it's never given that i would never take boogie serious it's 2023 when you came into my life you were heaven sent the best girl to step foot into my life We've kept our bond private and will continue to. But I got to show my appreciation. Thank you for she being my like peace. From the side. Show me what love really is. I could go on, but I'm going to stop right there. Don't need to say Rashida too much. But I love you forever, twin. Now, this is funny how Corey can actually make posts about this mystery girl. But when his son's <laughs> birthday came around, then he was like, oh, I don't need to make a post on social media. <laughs> but you make a post about a girl that no one even knows that you're dealing with. So now Carmen has finally spoke out on that CPS case that Corey filed. And let me say this. Let me go ahead and... Corey said he didn't post it for the kids because they can't see it, which is true. Put it down first. I've been dealing... I'm on the side with that one. ...with CPS for two, three weeks now. CPS just now came to the house or... You no, know, I've been dealing with CPS, let's go say, for a month now, probably. All right, boom. Then I've been dealing about it. Nobody knew because in his social media, I'm not the type of person to put my business out there, especially if he bothers my kid. I don't care about how you feel. I don't, I'm not obligated to post my kid or update chat on my kid. So then when it came down to <gasps> that lady, I'm not saying no names, y'all, but that lady, it made a, a post on Facebook and said, oh, I'm not talking about Carmen. Why not bring Carmen into nothing? But CPS... Why would you want to put that out there? Like, if you wasn't talking about me, you could have just skipped it to that and say, I'm not bringing Carmen on into nothing. Simple as that. It wasn't your place to talk about CPS, even though you didn't say Carmen kid. You didn't have to mention my kids to know that everybody know that the CPS case. If y'all want, if y'all want to see the full video, I reacted to it. The link is in the pinned comment. Ball. <laughs> and before I would have said it too, I would have came right after him. Like, why you got it from the whole world? The CPS is on, is on your you know? Okay, so when she put that out there, he already hit the T pages. The vlog was already talking about how he called CPS on me, how she exposed him for doing this, for doing that. All right, so now I guess what? He left me to react, and when I reacted, I simply made a Twitter post and don't bring my kid to nothing. That was it. That was it. And that was really even a general post because it wasn't general. We know who you was talking to, but she wasn't wrong for responding back. We got somebody mentioned. The I hate CPS. that people think you wrong for responding back. No, I'm gonna say what I need to say. Okay. And then we got other people thinking like, I'm still trying to keep the kid away from this man. Like that case is so old and so draining. So like put it to the garbage. You know what I mean? Okay. So when I made the comment, 
here we go. When people want attention, people gonna get attention. Make she went on there, made a comment, and said, "I'm so lost." When I was the one who called the team, and what the yeah, now I'm lost because you called my team and you told my team what happened, what was said, how it happened. We appreciate you for giving a heads up. Cool. Guess what? By the time you call my manager, I'm already dealing with CPA. So by the time you even told him, it was like a confirmation of who called type of stuff. Because I was already dealing with it. Like, your guy, strangers, the father of my strangers going to the school to check on CJ to make sure see it good. At to, school is crazy. To make sure see it healthy. Like, I'm so confused. They got you ain't going up to the school. So you telling me you know where the school at? And you don't go see him? Now, unfortunately, he may not be on the list. But if other people go on to check, then I'm sure you can. For harassing me and calling my phone because they will need to see Katie so they can close the case out. Make it make sense for me. If I'm the only person that's taking care of this kid when it comes to food, clothes, everything else that I need to provide for my kid, why? You want to have strangers be in your face. Like, why would you want to put the in the system? Why would you want to put a risk that the, can be taken away from both of us because you don't have a roof over your head? It's been you a guys year. Leave your opinions down in the been comment section below. But now let's move on to this next topic because Deira no, 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 no. just announced Wait, the past. I don't mean check them out of school, y'all, but I, I was just saying, you know, go see them scene of her grandma Not checking with out a school. very sweet message that she posted onto Instagram. She states, Dear Granny, as we celebrate your life today, my mind has yet to process that you're no longer here with us. It all still feels unbelievable. Since I got the call on October 21st, I can't sleep. Come back. The house is empty without you. My granny, my world, my everything, my favorite person. I never in a million years could have prepared myself for this day to come. Like, how is life possible without you when all I known in this life was you. I've only known life with my grandparents, not without. I know you were tired and I know you held on for us all. 87 years, I feel selfish to say I wanted you to stay forever and ever. <coughs> I know you miss granddaddy and I'm a thousand percent sure he was ready for you to come back home. So he told God to bring you on up. So, hey, now I'm one lucky person to have not one, but two beautiful souls watching over me as I figure out this next chapter of my life, the life of a granddaughter without the presence of her grandparents. The Damn, this make you sad, ain't it? Love the memories. My grandma's birthday was yesterday, her heavenly birthday. So. I, I, I had some drinks for lessons sure. the good times will never fade from my mind but i can't pretend that you not here physically doesn't break my heart granny words can't express how much you truly and deeply meant to me i will speak about you for decades to come wow you really meant the world to me and i would give anything to hug and sit on your lap again my dear sweet precious granny what a pleasure and honor to have been blessed with you as my granny you always made sure i was good and nurturing kind soul and i thank you for that i remember you bringing me and deandre to get baptized and i remember you waking me up at 5 a.m and sitting up and listening to you on the prayer line i remember you getting me out of so many whoopings i remember you saying i'm proud of you i could go on and on because we created endless memories that'll last a lifetime a new era I wasn't ready for. How do I repay you for making life worth living? Mm. As we say, see you then with some words, boy. Later, because it'll never be goodbye to you, Granny. We'll celebrate your life, love, and legacy you left behind. Granny, thank you for everything. I'll miss you dearly, but we carry you with us in our hearts always and forever until we dance again. So let's definitely keep Deer and her family in our prayers as they are going through this. That was very, very, very well written and sweet very tough time right now. Deira's speech was posted onto TikTok. I'm not sure exactly how they got it, but it was recorded. So if you guys care to see that, I will leave a link, but I'm not going to post it here. But as always, you guys leave your opinions on everything down in the comment section below. Mm. 
That's a blessing. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.